What's up guys? The embargo has finally lifted and I am now able to talk to you about Nvidia's new RTX 4090 and what kind of performance you can expect in games. But I'm not gonna do that today. I'm gonna spoil this for you ahead of time though. This card is a monster. It outperforms everything that I threw at it, including an RTX 3080, 3090, 3090 Ti, and AMD 6950 XT by 2x or even 3x in some scenarios. I have a full video dedicated to all that performance data because I spent way too long working on that video to just let all that information go by the wayside. But today on launch day, when you're going to be seeing a flood of videos in your inbox about performance and comparison against other cards, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Today we're going to take the RTX 4090 and try to break every single world record that we can. I think we got a good shot. So if you guys are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss the actual full review of the RTX 4090, which is coming very soon. But I hope you enjoy this little bit of a different kind of approach to a launch day video. Now, what I've done is I've built myself, you know, just your standard test bench with a 7950X, 32 gigs of DDR5, 6000 speed memory, an ASRock X670E Tai Chi motherboard, a Be Quiet 360 millimeter all-in-one cooler, and of course, our Founders Edition RTX 4090 from NVIDIA. What the plan is today is we're gonna check out 3D Mark's Hall of Fame. Now the Hall of Fame lists the different types of tests that they have and the ultimate high scores ever achieved in those tests. So we're talking about Time Spy Extreme, Port Royal, Fire Strike, and others that you guys have probably already heard of. I'm gonna hit the 4090 with a mild overclock and then we're gonna get to work trying to break every single one of those records. You ready? Strap in. So the first thing that we have to do here is apply a fairly mild overclock to our 4090. Now I'm not gonna lie, I have messed around a little bit with this before, and the RTX 4090 already sits at about 2700 megahertz while under load, under completely stock settings, and that's pretty phenomenal to be honest. I haven't seen an NVIDIA card do that before ever. But I was able to get up about plus 300 on the offset for our core frequency here without any additional cooling. We were getting a little bit unstable at that point because I was also pushing the memory. For our purposes here, I think adding a little bit of a lesser overclock to make sure that we're completely stable is gonna be the right approach. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add 200 megahertz to our core clock and then we're gonna add 900 megahertz to our memory clock. I also wanna bump up our power limit. Now, again, this is something that I have not seen before. The Founders Edition RTX 4090 allows you to go up to 133% on the power slider, which is crazy high. Most AIB cards don't allow you to go that high. But with four PCIe 8 pins feeding it, this card can take up to 600 watts. And that's a lot of power. So this should allow us to boost up higher and also maintain those clocks. Now I'm gonna leave voltage stock for now. I found that increasing that voltage does make us a little bit unstable once again, but this is the overclock that we're gonna go with and let's get right into some 3D Mark applications and see what kind of results we get. So here we can see a summary of our system. We've got our RTX 4090. We've got our Ryzen 9 7950X. Now the 7950X is stock. I have not overclocked that at all. Uh, we've got our 32 gigs of DDR5 6000 speed memory. And for storage, we've got an SSD. Uh, but if we take a look at the benchmarks page, these are the tests that we're gonna be taking a look at today, starting on the top left with Port Royal. Now, if you're not familiar with 3 d Mark, you can bring up their Hall of Fame and take a look at ultimately what the top score is for single GPU setups. And right now, Biso Biso has scored a 20,014 with an RTX 3090. Now, interestingly, he's outscored any other 3090 Ti and he's done it with a 12900K. So we're going with obviously a completely different setup here. And uh, this is under, uh, crazy conditions too. This is probably under liquid nitrogen or liquid helium. Uh, and he's gonna be running super cold. Whereas we're just gonna be running with the stock cooler. And uh, let's see how we do. So let's run Port Royal. 
and uh, see what kind of result we get. I got my fingers crossed. I have a good feeling about this. I think we're gonna be in a good spot. Let's take a look. Wow, 27,014, 27,014. So we've now broken the world record by 7,000 points, exactly. Wow, and we're not even really trying here yet. So let's, why don't we save this for it. Royal 27,014. Because what I'm gonna to try to do is, when the embargo breaks, I'm gonna upload all these scores. So hopefully I'll be at number one, uh, you know, for a brief period in time. Uh, I don't know, that'll be pretty cool to see. Let's move on to the next test. So next test is gonna be Time Spy Extreme. And uh, this is a test that actually uh, was used when, in the original uh, RIP series, the Time Spy Extreme was actually the uh, the benchmark of choice here. This is a 4K test, uh, and it's a lot more graphically intensive than the original Time Spy. So, uh, but this does have a CPU component in it as well. So having the 7950X is gonna be clutch here. And let's see what kind of score we get. Seventeen one sixty-five. Now I don't know what the world record is for this. Let's see. Time Spy Extreme, one graphics card. Oh, just fourteen thousand nine seventy-seven. So once again, we've absolutely destroyed the world record just with a simple single run. Seventeen one sixty-five. Man, this card is a freaking beast. <clears throat> All right, so the next one we're gonna try is regular Time Spy. So what's the record on that for a single graphics card? It's uh, 28,473. It looks like the 6900 XT and the 6950 XT are actually the, the money cards on this one. So I wonder if, uh, if we're actually gonna be able to break this record or not. Uh, let's see. Can we beat the 6950s? Yes, I think. What was it again? Let's save this. Time Spy 28759. All right. And what was it? 28. Yes, we beat it. We beat it by 300 points. That was a nail biter. I guess the uh, the 6900 XT actually is kind of a beast uh, in in that specific test for whatever reason, but we beat it anyway. 28,759, excellent. All right, so next we're gonna try the old standby Fire Strike. So if we take a look at Fire Strike Ultra, you see some of these are 4x. SLI, this is back in the day for the 1080 Ti's, but we're going for a single graphics card and the record 6900 XT once again, um, 19304. So let's see how we do. Twenty five one twenty one. This isn't even a contest anymore. That's almost 6,000 points higher than the previous record. Let's save that. Fire Strike Ultra. 20, what was it? <laughs> 25, 121. Save. Damn, this card is a monster. Next up is gonna be a test that I don't think I've ever run before. Uh, Wildlife Extreme. It says this is a cross-platform test for mobile computing, which, I mean, you could you could pick this up and move it. 
I'm, I think, right? So it's mo it is mobile, it qualifies as mobile computing. Let's just, let's just run it. Eighty-nine, eight eighty, for our wildlife extreme, which <laughs> crushes the previous record of sixty-one thousand nine seventy-three. So, let's save that wildlife. Eighty-three. Well, I'm sorry. Eighty-nine, eight eighty. Save. Let me write that down. Eighty-nine, eight eighty. So, so far we have tried five tests, Time Spy, Time Spy Extreme, Port Royal, Fire Strike Ultra, and Wildlife Extreme, and just smashed every single world record. And I think this is a good place to stop. I'm gonna be uploading this video um, on the embargo lift and then also trying to publish all these scores at the same time. So I just wanted to have a bit of fun and show you guys just how powerful this card is in comparison to even the most powerful previous generation cards on sub-ambient cooling and extreme cooling, so liquid nitrogen or even liquid helium. This card just blows it away, even just basically at stock settings with a, a mild overclock. And that's gonna translate really well to actual gameplay footage, as I can already attest to. I have done all the testing already, and this card is just an absolute mega performer in basically everything. So, Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys had a little bit of fun with this one. I did, and uh, I'm gonna be publishing my full video, my full review of the RTX 4090 very soon on the channel. So make sure you stay tuned for that. If you want all the performance data and the comparison to previous generation cards, again, make sure you get subscribed, hit that like button and that bell notification icon. Consider following me on Twitter if that's what you're into. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.